What's that pre? What's that pre, Lucas? What's that pre? Uh, Euphoria. Is it? Yeah. Can, code. They, can they use a code to get it? Yeah, they can use code Lucas coming soon. <laughs> no, code James. Code James. On Euphoria. There might or might not be, I don't know, nothing official yet, but if you go on the site and you check it, it might work. How it's good. It it's actually really good. 10? 15. It's the best pre I've ever had, you know, because it doesn't give the... You should really? get no. You should get the natural berries one. It's in my room. I should have given you guys that one. That's I've never tried that one. one. I've only ever tried that one. It's good. What's up, guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. Actually, my first in a long time because I took a little break. But you saw the video I just uploaded. We are at Nottingham Strong again. I really, really like this gym. I still be paying for day passes because I also like the guy. I haven't asked him to, you know. But um, today's a different type of video. It'll be similar, but I'll also be. You're shaking. As a pre kick turn, are you cold? Both. Nice. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> nervous? Yeah. Why? You, you make me nervous, James. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I thought I would take you through my workout, but I'm also going to talk about a few, a, a, few, a few things that have been on my mind. I do a lot of introspection. I've been doing a lot of that lately. You that word, man. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes he knew what that word meant. Um, it basically means a lot of... It's analyzing like your own mental state. Deep thinking. Yeah. Out loud. Exactly. So we're here today. I'm going to be hitting some push with Lucas. Sam's out here doing some legs. Tell you what, let me just really quickly plug Code James on Gymshark. This is a geo seamless, right? If you had to get one item of clothing for the rest of your life, it would be a long sleeve geo seamless, nice little tight compression top. This isn't actually a compression top, it's really stretchy, but um, Code James. This is also coming out, all this stuff. It hasn't arrived, but yeah, Code James. Get you some nice money off. Save get your precious money. Let's work out. I felt really tired and didn't want to come to the gym, but a few things. One of the few things I'm going to get on today and tell you about is um, balance. I'll get onto it later. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? You can't laugh. One of these things that I'm going to get on today. No, but balance and shit, bro. I just thought to myself, you know what? I'll be annoyed if I don't go. And let's just go and smash a push session. Do you know what I mean? Even if you're not feeling the best, you don't have to go and push the weight you've been doing. Just go lighter and then still do the same number of reps. Better than nothing, okay? Or also, figure it out. If you need a rest day, take a rest day. I don't need a rest day. I just felt tired. I was being a push boy. To the gym. We were just warming up on the incline chest press, bench press, dumbbell press, and we thought we are just going to do a fun little challenge. So we filmed it for TikTok. Who cares? Uh, and now we're on training chest. So I'm gonna go for three sets of eight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. I'll do the 36s. 36s do look kind of large, from reflection. But oh well. back in my bag and I got a brag. I do this shit for real. And we was down and we had nothing. We had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel. Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills. Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin. Trying not to pass out. <laughs> back in my bag, flow. Back in my, yeah, yeah. Back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, yeah, yeah. I'm back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my. This my back of my bag flow uh. Back again, yeah we keep on stacking it was happening Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then Life has been a movie, yeah so shout out to the cameraman Pull up to the scene, it's going down like an avalanche Steady going up like a travel plan Homer Simpson face, lucky power plan Yeah I'm off that dope, like I'm back again to busy At the Millie's, I don't club hers Get the word if it's a city, love forgive me Still have emotion dog, so why would I slow it? Make it rain on them, bust a the band, then you throw it we were steady having it, even at our lowest High speed road, run and keep my motor going hey, hey. People feel away, but they don't show it Gotta watch the people that surround you as you grow it They be coming around you with some plans to steal your moment Soon as I bust a nut, she be like, baby, where you going? Never slowing down, it's enough to go around Yeah, you probably knew it's then, but really, you don't know it's now Niggas love to show and tell, but all my niggas know me well It was either chase a dream or go to jail, but none of us ain't going yeah. going back to back on them like we here we and we Riley This that back in my back flow we back again so highly This that back in my back flow we back to change the climate This that back in my back flow we bring the force like Tommy Back in my Back in my back flow Back in my Yeah yeah back in my bag yeah Finna jump for the shit, all top when I speak, all cap with the speech till they caught up in the rapture. 
I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, been a long day. Hit your line with your fall through with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from here. I've been on my own, just running through the fields. Hey, vivid for the ears. I know that's how they like. Yeah, I fantasize. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I feel it. I let them hit the fear of a passive aggressive. Angry black man with a passion. Steady grip while I shoot to the stars with a full clip. Try and nine with a loose sleep. Then I proofread till I lose sleep. Couldn't handle the truth. Your bed with the right. Love at first sight shit. Art over hype shit. Need a sound bite for the time capsule. Press play, they pause time for a bit. Smitten, I admit it, cut it, kick it. I'm in love with the fine print. Script what type of shit they wouldn't find behind it. Why this bitch is behind the eyelid? Tell her reckless with the claws. It's careful with the cost me. Need a shit forever, but I never ever stop until they put me in the coffin or they off me. Fuck niggas quick to auction, they false print. Always read the shit with the caution. Hold the ten toes down for the dogs, you can see the paw print. Searching for the answers in the bottom and the last strip of the handle. The beginning of the candle, the wishes to myself, give me fears when I'm looking in the mirror. I'm seeing somebody else, yeah. Me call the sun as I'm asleep, show up there. Wrist thing and they rose gold and buy the glow from me. I couldn't pinpoint on the globe, so I wanted to go from me. Just know that I don't fit in, but I wanna feel everything. Eyes low, with the sky foes where the rhyme floats. I don't really know. Just what we might go with the mind scope. So many things I never learned with my eyes closed. Too busy with the schemes on the telling of my dreams on the rail, bitch. I grind like my life's on the line, hella wired. So far through with the light sticks, we open up when the light flicks. On sight, yellow cash rolls, everything around me. Hunting for the bounty, where that nigga drip on fountain. Ran a tree down by the ounce, liquor skin brown, slipping down to the earth, spin around. Life is hella short, don't make it count. Tell the label I need three, four, five, better count it back out loud. What we getting in me for the night? I never hit reply, but it red, I just wanna feel alive. Life is so much more than the bills. I just want a house in the hills. I just wanna. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed that workout. It took a long time to film and I wasn't able to talk to you about what I wanted to talk to you, what I mentioned in the start of the video. So I'm gonna to talk to you now. I come to you from my parents' home. This is my kitchen. And this seat means a lot to me where I'm sat right now and I'll get into it in a bit. Um, but I wanna to talk to you about what I've been learning about myself and in hopes that it helps you. Cause I'm starting to step things up. This YouTube channel is gonna be stepped up. Everything is gonna be stepped up. I'm trying my best, so bear with me. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, like, comment, I'd really appreciate it. In my probably endless journey of trying to become like the best influence on you that I can be uh, and try and influence as many people as possible, I'm going to talk to you about a few things I've been learning about myself that you might be able to resonate with. We'll see. So lately I've been doing a lot of introspection. It's a new word that I've that's come to my mind lately, but I've been doing it for a while. Well, I've actually been doing it for a very short while in the short term, but I used to do this a lot on my gap here without realizing, and I'll get into that in a bit. But I've been doing a lot of introspection, um, which is one's analysis of their own mental state. So actually this year, this is kind of new to me right now. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I've got notes written on my laptop right here because I don't want to waffle too much. Um, so I wrote all of these out just now about five minutes before shooting this. There's one thing I'm trying to get better at is writing things down. I've got a couple notepads. I only realized it on the car journey home just now. I just got back from Loughborough that my whole gap year, I was doing a load of introspection. I've previously filmed a couple versions of this that I've never posted just because I didn't like the way I waffled. I might be able to pull some clips in at some point. I'm gonna do loads more things like this in the future. Um, so I hope you enjoy. In my gap year, I was doing a load of introspection. I learned so much about myself. Uh, and it was kind of driving me crazy. But what happened is I went to university after my gap year and I was put into a bubble surrounded by loads of people and I kind of forgot everything I learned. Like I didn't forget it. It, would, it became subconscious rather than conscious. Like I couldn't remember what I learned. Whereas at the end of my gap year, I was able to list the things that were different about me from my gap year. And one of the reasons I was able to learn so much about myself and do all this introspection, analyze my mental state, analyze why I am, what I am, how I am, is the alone time that I had in my gap year. And also, it's a segue onto why I've been doing loads of introspection lately is because I've been giving myself alone time now. When I was on my gap year, it was just me and my dad. My mum was working. She'd be gone all day, come back. Um, but it was just me and my dad. My brother was at university. And I was alone for a lot of time. All my friends were at university, didn't really speak to them. Um, so all I was doing is going to the gym, coming home, eating food and thinking and doing a bit of social media on the side. And what happened was when I went to university is 
I had no alone time. Or I had alone time, but my alone time was very different. I was surrounded by people all day, distractions, going to lectures, going out at night, partying, whatever, going to the gym, still being surrounded by loads of people that when I would come home and be alone and cook food, my mind wasn't there. In my alone time, I'd be procrastinating or scrolling or doing my work, my uni work or making videos to social media. Like there was never any pure alone time where I was sat thinking. And it's something I've only recently been able to do again recently. So enough about my gap here. I'll talk about that more in, in, in detail in another video, but let's talk about it now. So I live in, I still live in a student uni house. I dropped out of uni, but I still live in the, the student house because my tenancy is still going. It ends in two weeks. I'm actually moving out. Um, it ends in, it ends in like six weeks, but I'm moving out in two weeks because I've got something really awesome coming that I'm going to be gone for the whole of June for. We'll talk about that later i'm really excited but it was the easter holidays i believe so all the students all the other students in my house were gone for the holidays so i came home saw my family whatnot and then i was like right i'm gonna go up to my loughborough house that's completely alone and i'm gonna get some stuff done so i i, I went there and i had like five days completely alone it was exactly what i needed and it was the first time i've been able to think and do this introspection and figure out certain things. I made a really long video, which I haven't posted, about alone time and everything that can come with it. But um, I'm going to sort of summarize it in this, but this is a bit, this isn't so much about it. So this year, obviously, I haven't had lectures, um, so I've had more free time. But most of this year, any time that I would have spent last year on lectures, I've just spent doing social media and making social media posts and making videos, taking photos, editing, everything like that for the majority of this year until this alone time that I, give, I gave myself. So it was only since then that I've really done this introspection and analyzed my whole mental state, analyzed where I want to go, what I am right now, where I could be, whatever. Because previously, before this, and it was something I very clearly remember, I explained it to one of my friends, I, my mindset was very, and I, I, I compared myself to Neil from The Inbetweeners, I don't know if you've ever seen The Inbetweeners, but he's a very simple character, lives a very simple life, has a very simple mindset, and there's a good scene, I'll probably insert it now so that you understand it. After that I just stopped worrying about stuff. You only get one go round I reckon, when you're dead, you're dead. So you can spend your time thinking about how things haven't gone perfect, or you can just get on with it, have a laugh and that. That's what I do. I'm pretty happy. And that was very much me. That was very much my mindset and there was nothing wrong with that. But we'll get into it. Personally, I felt like I had less problems when I wasn't thinking about them. I didn't think about them. I didn't let them get to me. So I was fine. Simple. Anyone asks me how I am, I say I'm really good. I'm living the dream. I'm really good. All my problems were put to the side, the back of my mind. And the truth is I, I am fine. I'm not sad. Nothing like that. And I am living the dream. I'm living my dream, uh, which I'm endlessly happy for. And I'm really grateful to all of you guys for using my code on Gymshark, code James, if you ever want to get in club and, and doing my online coaching and having these amazing clients that I'm helping out get there in the best shape of their life. And that mindset was good. It was healthy on my mind, but it, there was also a few things bad about it. And this kind of segues onto the point of this video uh, that I really want to talk about, and that's balance. So... We'll get onto that in a second, but but there were certain things like feeling comfortable like that led to some some level of complacency, and complacency is my biggest fear. It's going to be hard to express it on video, and I've ne I I really struggle to express it to anyone. I don't even really show it, but I want it so bad. I just want to be the best version of me so bad. And there's loads of things I'm doing to get there, but there's also loads of things I'm not doing. So balance is what I want to talk about in this video. All aspects of life, everything is better with balance. Day to day basis, I'm talking literal things, mental things, everything. Lately, I've been working on balancing my work life balance on a day to day basis. How much time I spend doing X, Y and Z and including my personal life, relationships, friendships, family. It's not perfect, nowhere near perfect and I actually need to get way better at it. I'm actually, if, if, if perfect was up here and rock bottom was here, I'd say I'm about here. Like I'm actually really bad with balancing that right now. I'm actually pretty bad at balancing all of it to admit, but it's something I'm working on. Yeah, my problem is that I want it so bad. It's also a blessing in disguise, of course, because I reckon I, I'm confident that I will get there eventually. Wherever there is, I don't even know. You know, I want to scale my coaching business. I want to 
continue to grow on social media. I want to be able to be one of the top Gymshark athletes in terms of sales and everything like that. The top, to be honest. I want to always be doing more. I want to be doing the most and I can't rest. And that's obviously a really good thing. It's really good to have that motivation, but I am noticing how detrimental that is also on my personal life, my relationships, my friendships, and my own mind. On the short term, I even noticed it this week. I was in Loughborough, working really hard, pumping out loads of content because I thought that was the right thing to do. Every time I was posting a video, I was like, right, sweet, perfect. That's me working hard. But sometimes working hard isn't always the answer. You gotta work smart as well. I'd actually say working smart is way bigger way more important than working hard. And by spending all my time pumping out this content, editing, filming, shooting, whatever, I completely lost that balance that I actually gained about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, I ended the week and I was like, yeah, this week I actually balanced everything really well. Doing my coaching, uploading content, trying to do some admin, finance, boring stuff, and also just like personal life friendship. So I will get back to that eventually, but it wasn't perfect there. I'm not saying it was good there, but I'm saying that, that was a step in the right direction and then I kind of put, stripped it back a little bit. So one of the things that's gonna be first on my roster to try and get better is realizing that time off is productive. That's what Chris Williamson said. I've been listening to loads of Chris Williamson podcasts. I definitely recommend the Mike Thurston one, Mike Thurston and Chris Williamson uh, and all of the modern wisdom, that's Chris Williamson's podcast. All of those just if you have spare time, free time, rather than listening to music, just listen to some of those podcasts. It will change your mindset. I've come to one conclusion about the reason I don't like time off right now, and that's my environment. So as I said, I currently live in a student house surrounded by students, and I love them all. They're really lovely, but it's not the right environment for me anymore. I've realized that. And the reason I don't like time off is because if I were to take time off, it would just be chilling in the house. So my time off feels like time wasted rather than productive time off, it feels like time wasted, whether it be gossiping, whether it be just chilling, watching Netflix with everyone or something like that. I just want it so bad that that frustrates me. I love living in the house and I'm gonna really miss it when I move out, but I'm also learning more and more about myself and also more and more comfortable in the idea of new experiences and better experiences for me that sometimes you just have to leave the old ones behind. So that's one thing I've been battling with is balancing my work, all the other admin stuff, my personal life, and then just time off. So in the past month, obviously my time off has been just alone time, which hasn't really felt like time off. Um, and it's still been a little bit draining, constantly thinking about everything, but I'm getting there, I'm figuring it out. So rather than taking these breaks and this time off, I just continue working until I completely burn out and lose inspiration, lose motivation, and end up just not enjoying what I'm doing. And with that, I become even more frustrated for numerous reasons, which I'll get into now. At one point, I pretty much had some sort of breakdown because I was chatting to someone very close to me. I basically described it as feeling trapped. I felt trapped in the path that I was on because if say I would suddenly leave the path, stop doing social media, whatever, there's no way I could do that. I wouldn't be able to live with myself, but the path that I was on a few days ago, which I have kind of got down to the bottom of, and I'm excited to figure out where I'm going, and I've already kind of figured it out, but the path that I was on a few days ago, which, side note, is crazy to think how things change so quickly, like my whole mindset can change within a few days after just thinking about it and having this introspection. But three days ago, I felt like, oh, it's just gonna continue like this. My personal life is gonna be out the window. My time with my family is gonna be out the window. All I'm gonna have to do is continue working like this until I feel like I've made it. And then I know at the end of the road, I just look back and wish I did things differently. So I'm, ex I'm, I'm glad I've had this realization. And before this conversation happened with that person, I have an example of like literally last week, I came home to go to the coaching office. There's a system that I run my coaching from and they have an office and I like to go in there to get some coaching work done. It's, it's a really nice office. And I also came home to spend time with the family. But when I was home with the family, I was just still trying to work, still trying to make videos, still trying to do all this stuff that I like doing. Right now, I don't associate this house, my parent, my, my family home with any of the work that I'm doing because my life is so different than growing up, you know? I'd probably really easily be able to sit down and do some exam revision, but 
I never did any of the social media stuff in here, so I don't associate it with it. So my mind just has a mental block. When I come home, I have n barely any inspiration, I'm not really creative in that manner. And that's why I keep staying in Loughborough. And the other week, I planned to stay home and spend time with my family for like five days. But I woke up on the Monday morning, wanted to get some work done and just couldn't. And I got frustrated at myself that I actually stormed off straight back to Loughborough that day to get the work done. And then that's when I started posting all those videos. And so that was all about my environment and where I was. And it's interesting to see and realize the impact that my environment is having on me. Um, even while shooting this video, I'm realizing it more and more as I speak. But then what was happening was I was having another conversation with another friend and we really broke it down and I've really vented. And I realized that right now I feel lost. People have been asking me, how are you doing? My answer has literally been, bro, I don't even know. I don't know, I'm not sad. I actually don't have anything to be sad about. I've kind of got to the bottom of it. So one is my environment. I just feel a little bit out of place. And two is another thing is that I'm slowly, I've been gradually enjoying it less, but I've just been doing it because it's a habit, but I've been gradually enjoying my line of work less over the past few weeks for numerous reasons. The biggest one is that I'm not even reaping any rewards for myself. Well, it's not like I'm doing it for rewards, but basically, okay, first one, really simple. I hate talking about it. I don't want to talk about it a lot. We're not going to talk about it too much, but let's talk financially. I still kind of live on a student budget. My environment, you know, when I go to Tesco's and do my weekly food shop, I still don't want to spend more than £30, the same way I didn't in my first year at uni when I wasn't earning money. Um, and that's all to do with my environment. And that's completely fine. Living well below my means. I'm not a very materialistic person. Like, I'm currently wearing low completely free clothes. Um, I don't flex much. I don't actively spend loads unless it's on camera gear, which uh, funny thing, I just bought a drone today, which I'm really excited about. But anyway, sidetrack. But I'm not reaping the rewards in the financial thing. You know, money's coming into my account. What's happening is if I'm having a low, say my views are low, or say money comes out of my bank account because I have to spend it on something, I'm down about it. But then if I have a high, if my views suddenly go high and I go viral for a video, or I see some money go into my account, I don't acknowledge it. So it's like I'm experiencing the lows and the lows and then it gets lower and lower and lower and then I get a high and I just go back to here rather than feeling here, which is weird and interesting and I kind of understand why. And it's because I'm not really reaping those rewards. I'm not allowing myself to be proud of the work I'm doing. I'm not allowing myself to enjoy the work that I'm doing and, and the benefits of the work that I'm doing, uh, being free and doing what I want to do rather than being sat in an office. So yeah, everything is about balance. I need to be able to, first of all, balance what I do in my day-to-day -day life, spend just the right amount of time on everything, which is something I'm slowly learning to do. That's the reason I got a notepad. That's the reason I'm in doing all this introspection, trying to figure it all out. And another thing is balancing in the long term, being able to just set aside a weekend to go and see my parents, being able to set one evening a week to spend time with all my friends and that would be productive time off because I wouldn't be worried and frustrated about not being able to do what I want to do. And I also think I need a holiday, which is um, funny enough coming up and uh, I am so unbelievably excited and the content is going to be crazy. Life is going to change. Life changed a while ago, but life is just going to go like this as long as I do it right. Two weeks, two weeks, and then I'm gonna go clear, baby. But in conclusion, because I know that was a lot of waffle, and I hope that you can relate to it. I know that a lot of you won't have any clue about what I'm talking about literally in terms of social media, but I know that a lot of you will still relate to the lack of balance in your life, whether you're a student and you're spending too much time studying or you're not and you're spending loads of time with your friends, but then you're worried about your studies. So the time with your friends isn't productive because you're still worried about your studies. My camera battery just died and it will probably die again, but I just want to really quickly conclude and say, I am actually happy now that I think of it. I'm not sad. I'm happy. It just died again. I just want to say just lately I've been having a battle with my mental state and it's like, What's really funny is I've been doing all this introspection and then I did some introspection on my introspection and I was thinking, what's better to do this introspection, to think about my mental state, to spend time thinking about my problems or to not like I was two months ago. Two months ago, I was happier. I was content, but it kind of backs up my point, both balance. I need to do both. 
right? I need to be able to understand that I need to analyze my mental state in order to get better, but I also need to reap the rewards of this, push the problems away and enjoy myself and not think about it too much so that I don't drive myself crazy. Because I have definitely noticed a huge negative impact on my personal life. I don't speak to my friends. My friends reach out, I don't want to reply. They FaceTime me, I don't want to answer. You're also probably wondering what I meant by how this seating position meant a lot to me. And it was at this very kitchen table in my gap year, because I'm a night owl, I would spend hours sat right in this position with my laptop in front of me doing my first bits of work on my social media and making my first ever ebook workout plan sort of thing which i sold and it's still on my website but i'm actually i'm actually going to make a way better one now far more advanced one because i think it's been long enough that i've been sat not letting my knowledge out not letting my expertise out because people ask me what are all my routines my workout plans i'm gonna get on them i'm gonna get on them i'm gonna start making them one reason i haven't made one in a while is because i wanted to focus more on my coaching because coaching overall is a better service if you really want to get in your shape and you need help then what you need is a coach not a workout plan because you will buy a workout plan and potentially not follow it if you've got any questions who you're going to ask whereas a coach is there for you. And that's why I wanted to do coaching over selling workout plans. But I'm going to really work hard at being able to do both. Um, I didn't want to make workout plans and that be detrimental to my coaching business because people will always go for the cheaper option, but they won't realize what the difference is. A workout plan is there. If you're in the gym, you know really, you know roughly what you're doing, but you just need some inspiration or something to just follow. Some people, I didn't realize it. The reason I haven't spent more time making workout plans and selling workout plans is because I didn't realize it because from my personal point of view, I don't like following things, but I didn't realize loads of people just enjoy following something. So I'm going to get on those. They're going to be good. They're going to be different from everyone's. You know, I'm different. And that's enough waffle for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was kind of vulnerable James. Um, I don't, I, I do a lot of thinking, but I don't do a lot of talking, which is something I'm trying to get better at, which brings me on to the fact that I'm going on a podcast tomorrow and I'm really nervous and I didn't want to do it, but it was one of those moments where I was like, James, listen, it's a new experience. You've got to try it. So I'm going to do it. Look out for clips of that posted on my social media. I want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, leave a comment if you made it this far. I really appreciate you. And um, I will see you in the next one. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, then I'll never do it again. If you did, then I'll keep it coming. Have a good one. See you later.